Hello everybody, it's I the, the Waluigi Big Mac and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we Last time we uh well got access to the White House and now we have to snap the the president out of his hypnosis. So let's talk to the president. I said talk to the president. Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Oh, finally! The interpreters! Where have you been? Interpreters? interpreters? Yeah! That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Cause I got a meeting with one of them foreign dignitaries! Always talking that crazy space language? Who are you meeting with today? Heck if I know! They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. No, 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 don't eat the cat. Don't eat the cat. We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Hey, ready. You snap hypnotized. out of it, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized. Shaw, sure, I haven't been hypnotized. That's crazy talk. You've got to listen to us, sir, or we'll be forced to take drastic action. Don't talk to me about drastic action. You ever been pinned down in a drugstore parking lot by a pack of muskrat commandos with nothing left to lose? Ever had to gnaw your best buddy's leg off just so you could get his socks and put them on your own ears to fend off the enemy's deadly sonic regurgitator ray? Now that's crazy talk. I'm impressed. Wake up, Mr. President. Wake up. You've never given up on Wake anything up. in your life. Don't start now. That's awful nice of you fellas, but I haven't been hypnotized. Now do we commence with the head trauma, Sam? What was that? We'll have to get the president alone, Max. You're under arrest. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Freelance police? Now there's the kind of can-do vigilante attitude that makes America strong. Finally, someone who appreciates our greater calling. But seriously though, you're under arrest. Seriously, you're under arrest. <laughs> oh, you can't arrest me. Foolish chief executive, does he not fear us? Trust us, Mr. President, it's for your own good. Nah, see, it's the Secret Service regulations. I can't leave the Oval Office. You're still under arrest. We can get your administration back on track with just a hint of bloodshed if you'll just- Where does the little one keep his gun? Best not to think about it, sir. <laughs> keep up the good work, Mr. President. You've got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him. The man's a genius, Sam. I almost feel bad for doing this. It's for the good of the country, Max. Hey. Uh, wait, Chuckles. Why does he sound familiar? Hey, Mac. Do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. This can only end in violence. Yep. Hmm, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? You seem familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats, the surly tone. I've got it. You're that pit boss from the Toy Mafia. I smell a conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. What's a toy mafia man doing What's here? What's the toy mafia got to do with the Secret Service? What toy mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. What's behind that What's door? What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. Seriously, Seriously pal, what's behind that door? It's the door to the war room with unrestricted access to the United States' entire arsenal of long-range missile weapons. There's Ooh, no part of missiles! That let's, let's, like. let's push it's it up! Unanimous. We'd like a tour. Nobody gets into the war room during peacetime. 
Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. We'll be back. All right, we'll I be back. I cannot wait. Well, let's look around real quick. Uh, there's a picture of George Washington. Boxing, wait, boxing gloves? Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased oh. in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a crude map of Lithuania. Hmm. Wait. What the? Emetics is in here. What the hell? These plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Apple Eating pie, a lot and balls. hitting things Baseball. with sticks. Yeah, that's yeah, that's America for you. Well, I'm not sure about the apple pies, but uh. These plates. But the hot, yeah, the, yeah hot, exactly. hot dogs and baseball is uh, definitely something here. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. Uh, there's something strange about that president. I like, I don't know. Liberty Bell Lamp. The Liberty. Metaphor is such an Ooh, ugly. Shit. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for. Yeah. Metaphor is such an ugly quality in furniture. Camera. Hands off the camera. It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those. Wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again. Hmm. All right, I'm bored. Let's 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 wait. Hold up. Uh, what's this ribbon? Hey, now that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. All right. Start below. Hmm. Interesting. Since actual. Hmm. Throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. <laughs> uh, alright, screw it. War room. No one enters the war room. Watch us. You two are coming with me. And stay out. Hello. Now I have to get back to the president. He's not supposed to be alone. Excuse me? Whizzer! Oh. Welcome, Governor Wizard. Governor! The president has been waiting for you. Is anyone there? Governor Wizard? Hey, who better to run a state than a washed up, Hello. urination loving former child star? No one! Hello, this is the White House. Hello. They, they can't keep us out twice! Or, uh. No, they, no, they just kick us out once. Abuse. But they'll never it's keep a us from very coming. important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, oh, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh no, momento, por favor. Impatient little guy, ain't he? All right, well, we're just gonna ignore, uh, actually, you know what, let's talk to Wizard. What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard, thank you very much. Governor Wizard? What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. All right. Did you guys read the papers? Just the funnies. You mean the obituaries, Max. Potato, potato. We're a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the north and south. Well, that explains why there was a 51st star on the flag on top of the United States. What the hell? How did you get into politics? I won the election. It was a very close race, but I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? You see what I did there? Runoff? Because he's wizard? You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. Anyway, what are you doing here? What brings you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Mr. Who's Sapp. Mr. Sapp? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. So a month. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, 
people all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. You don't have any money, Max. Oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. <laughs> all right. See you around, Wizard. That's all we need to talk. Let's talk to Hello, Drew. Mr. President. We're ready to uh, interpret. We're ready to interpret for you. All right. Let's get this party started. <laughs> also, I like how Chuckles Mr. is even throwing us out again. My fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. He said, let's see, how long can this epidemic continue? Prepare to die, capitalist oppressor. What the guy got to do to get... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? Let's fuck him over and make him drink soda. <laughs> What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. An ice cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by him. No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty, and just one couldn't hurt. Frosty <laughs> cold and so delicious. All oh, the man. progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. Fuck you, I wizard. I almost feel bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? <laughs> I, I don't feel bad at all. I mean, like... I mean, like, if it's alcohol, that's one thing, but soda? Oh, blessed angels like, of car soda? Like, fill me like with again, alcohol, that's one nectar. thing. Soda, that's a different yeah. thing. Yeah, now I'm not so much guilty like, as repulsed. <gasps> Keep it coming. More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? Which way is Lincoln's bed? <laughs> Let's look... How about we do a bit of trolling? Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there! But I don't... Oh, thank you! Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there! Bad! We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation? Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please, let me go! That was fun! Okay, now I didn't catch all that. What did he say? Hey, ready. Now that, now that we have him alone... Time to punch his night... Time to punch his lights. Now it's time for some checks and balances. Freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. Look it, fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. Uh, they just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, huh. the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas! Sam did it! Still, <laughs> ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. Man. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. Now that these idiots have forced my hand, uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and the Gambe. We are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Hey, that's hey, that's the uh, Lincoln Memorial. Uh, 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 oh, oh boy. Not quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... 
Wait, what's that noise? Um. Uh, well, this is going to be interesting. Oh, yep, yeah, that is that. I mean, I knew Abraham Lincoln was tall, but like. Listen, scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it! What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. Oh I no! Hate when they do that. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. Make it back. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president of the United States. Yes. Oh boy, I I'm suddenly I'm suddenly starting to regret this. All right, well. Well, let's let's go over, head over to the pool first, cause uh, yep, <laughs> the president's severed head is here. It's the severed head of the president. I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. You're thinking of Medusa's head. All right. I always get those two heads before, confused. Before before we even start our election, let's let's mess with. Uh... It's the cue cards for Lincoln's speech. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Let's see. How about we? Yeah, yeah. Let's sabotage. Two wrongs don't make a right. Hey, ready. Mr. Lincoln, as a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues, followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm. I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. So I just assumed I'd be running unopposed. Oh no, you didn't! You ain't all that! I freed the slave! I was star of a popular television sitcom! I'm on the penny! I was on TV! Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate reason debate. Very well, then. In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn I, I, as we bring you the first oh in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. President. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. And representing the Random Violence and Destruction Party, there is the <laughs> hyperkinetic rabbit-like creature known as Max. Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. They're ready. So, okay. So this is so this episode of Sam Max is I mean well obviously it's not too political but oh, oh shit I can actually have Sam say stuff This election reminds me of a droll story It seems Chester A Arthur and the Pope were kayaking down the Amazon one day Suddenly a tiny kandiru fish swims up the Pope's and lodges itself in his Arthur grabs the Pope's pliers and swelled up like a melon and the Pope says, thanks! Last time that happened, McKinley wanted to s <laughs> No, wait, wait, wait. I think I told it wrong. I'm a uniter, not a divider. Anyway. I foresee an America under one rule. An iron-fisted rule. One rabbit, one law. Let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated. All hail, Max. Uh, and... Uh, anyways, uh, anyways, this this episode of Sam Max is not going to be too political, but honestly, I'm I'm, I'm going to so let me get this off my chest. But uh, in terms of politics, I really do not care about politics. Like I would like every now and then I'll see something political on like on my Twitter feed, and I go like and I go like I don't care about this. And it's just swipe up because because let me put it this way: as an American, 
as Americans, the only thing I'm seeing is that our country's doomed. Like, that's, like, that's it. That's just my opinion. Our country is just freaking doomed. Anyway, let's talk about the issues. Uh, let's see where he stands on religion and schools. Where do you stand on religion and schools? Two wrongs don't make a right. Did we hear that right? Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's gotta hurt him in the polls. Wow, people are so fun for Lincoln, even though you look down on that? Uh, remember these sites we got? Let's put this on here. Free home delivery. It's time for another in this ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln and Max. I like, I like how we the turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. I like, I like how the camera has to point downwards, so, uh, so you can see, so just, just so you can see Max, because Lincoln is that fucking tall. Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well. All right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head, as I have nothing prepared. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. Damn it, he's still winning. Ugh. Man. Oh, good thing we got one more ace up our sleeve. Give me all you got. Let's talk about Mr. the issues. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. How would you describe your tax plan? How would you describe your tax plan? Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. Ugh. That had to have hurt him in the polls. That's some good water. Damn it, he's he's one percent of Punk Max. Well, well, we still well we still have organic listening device. Let's put it on Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. Who is he, Donald Trump? I Trump? stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called! He wants his beard back! I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk! Save it for the debate, Max. <laughs> okay, we got that. Alright, let's... Uh... Oops. Time out. Max has to, uh, visit the little candidate's room. I'm drunk with power, but it just goes right through me. Okay. There we go. Organic Lincoln's link device. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you. Honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Also, Abraham Lincoln is your I man. Like, oh, you want to talk to these secret agents? Uh, secret service agents. Are they all Who Super Bowl? Like my money's on Lincoln, and Lincoln's on my money. Clever. What about, what about the other guy? Hi, America. It's me, Max. Remember, a vote for me is a vote for prosperity, alacrity, and the tyranny of my furry white iron fist. Thank you. <laughs> I like how the whole time the president's red is still in the goddamn uh, pool. Well, well, there's a few things we still need to do. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Back to the office. Shotgun. Uh, because 
Let's see. Remember, remember how Sybil's looking for someone with a bit of history. Someone who's tall and uh, has some mystery to him. Well, luckily for us, we have... Luckily for us, we know a guy. I mean, we're going up against him, but we do know a guy. So let's be good friends and uh, give her this campaign uh, paper. What's this? A new application? Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see. Not THE Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. <sighs> that chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy marketability. Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. Right, and now... <laughs> Let's let's do let's do a let's do a uh, let's do a bit of a prank phone call. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, phone. There we go. You calling Sam? Sybil. Sybil. Hello, Abe. Is that you? I, Abraham Lincoln, am that. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's just—it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application, and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? This is a date. Yeah, that, that sounds this about right. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh my, you are a charmer, aren't you? Well then, Mr. Rail Splitter, where would you like to meet? Uh, today. That sounds Today about. is the day we return America to greatness. Oh, it's where, okay. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Hello, Abe? Is that you? We have to do the whole thing over again, yep. I... Oh, what? I saw... The... Oh my, well then. I stand here at the steps of the White House. There we go. The time to act is now. The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. I'm going to slap you, <laughs> silly, you little punk. What? I didn't catch that last part. I will feast on your <laughs> and devour your soul. What? Abe? What's going on? Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. <laughs> Uh, our organic listening device has a sense of humor. Gotta so love him. To sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, oh, honesty, man. and loyalty oh, to family gold. is our most comedy sacred gold. asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm here. Are you ready for our date? What? I, I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date <laughs> with this lady. Oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> hey, we win! The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected President of the United States. Yeah. An unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity. All of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. 
You've got to be bleeping me, you idiots! Uh oh. He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves. Max, that robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop him. Well then. I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. <gasps> he said it. He yes. said it. He he said the name of the episode. I have nothing. Well, okay. Well, let's head into the White House now that we're president. Finally, Mr. President, you're here. That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Anyway, unfortunately, folks, that's all the time we have for today. If you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing as I would really appreciate it. Help the channel grow. And welcome back, Governor uh, Wizard. That's not funny. Hold on. Piss. Stay piss. dry, Wizman. Piss off, Wiz uh, Wizard. Uh, anyways. Uh, where was I? Uh, if you if you like the episode, please uh please subscribe. Blah blah blah. Help the channel grow. I'll and I'll push uh, my videos on the algorithm. Uh, with that being said, I'll, I'll with that being said, I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna kill Abraham Lincoln. With that with that being said, have a good one, folks. Boo boo. <laughs>